Good morning. My name is Don Aslett. I am a professional cleaner. I've been cleaning for 60 years. I'm so enthused about it and loving it so much that I ended up writing books about it. One of the books I wrote was called How to Clean the Moose Head. These were 50, 100 questions on how to clean. You think the big question was dusting? Do you think it was bathrooms? What about ovens? Or even windows? Sorry folks, none of the above. It is simply how to clean and take care of floors. Faster, easier, quicker. And we're gonna simplify this process in the next few minutes. In our cleaning profession, we have a saying that a floor is a floor is a floor. And basically, there are only two types of floor. Hard surface floor, which includes many of the surfaces, and soft floor, which is carpet. First of all, if we're gonna simplify floor cleaning and make it really professional, let's get rid of the old wives' tales, the old methods that we used to use back in the 40s and 50s. None of these things work anymore. There's better, quicker, neater things on the market than these things. They look good, but they don't clean well. The single biggest secret of floor care is not how to do it fast and easy, but not to have to do it at all. Good doormats. We'll catch about 80% of the dirt that ends up in your house. It'll be in here instead of in there. Put doormats in your house and they'll clean your house for you. Okay, folks, to really simplify maintenance on your floors, the regular maintenance on your floors, let's get it down to just two basic tools, ones you're familiar with. Regular spray bottle, a new thing we call a pad holder with a microfiber pad on the bottom of it. Your spray bottle, put an all-purpose cleaner in here, your favorite. I've used dish soap in it before. It'll work. Make sure your spray bottle works. The microfiber is a wonderful, wonderful fabric. It'll pick up things that most mops will not pick up. It's just a small little pad that fits on the bottom of this pad holder. They come in different sizes. To me, this is too big. Now, my favorite happens to be the small, tiny, easy manipulated one. Let's go to work. Well, folks, I'm sure the floor is ready for us right now. First thing you do, of course, you know what that is. We sweep the floor to get the loose residue off the floor. Then I always get a little knife or a little putty chisel because I know on the floor someplace there's a smashed in raisin or some jam that won't come off with mopping. So I have this little knife and you reach down and you can get it off and keep that in my pocket. So let's go to work. First thing we do, we get to the floor, you grab your spray bottle, you've got it diluted. These spray bottles, I didn't know, know if you know this, but the spray bottles have a little Justin head on there that they'll squirt out a long way like that or if you adjust it back, whatever is convenient for the size of your floor to distribute the stuff. So you spray everything on your floor like this, everything on your floor, wet your floor considerably. Let it set a minute and that starts dissolving the dirt already. Then you get your microfiber pad. I always wet the pad. Get my pad holder, put it on there like that. You're ready to mop. That's how simple doing floors can be. First thing you do when you go over the floor, the first time you go over a floor is called a wetting agent. You wet the floor, which spreads the solution, and spreads the dirt and everything out on the floor so it begins to dissolve. That's the first pass. Then you go over the place again that you just did before. And this is what cleans the floor. A lot of people do not do that. It's the second time. First time it's a wetting agent, second time it cleans the floor. Go all the floor that you can reach. One time, that's why I like, I told you I like the smaller one, because you get along edges, you get in back in places with this, and it doesn't slop up on your baseboards like the old type of mops did. I mean, this is easy and fun. You'll want to do your floors every day instead of once a week when you have to do it. If you happen to have a bad floor, a lot of dirt on your floor and it gets concentrated, then I take the pad off, set my thing up this, and go to the sink. I don't, this replaces a whole mop bucket. I go to the sink. These microfiber pads are good and this sink is your full mop bucket. Rinse the thing like that. You can see the amount of dirt that comes out that's been held on the floor for a long time. Three or four rinses. microfiber is good as new back to the floor when you come back with your fresh pad remember it's all rinsed out on it there again and you kind of, you're just kind of not only cleaning the floor but you're rinsing the floor again going over it when I finished take the pad off I rinse it out again and I put it back on here and I hang it in the closet to let it dry no mop bucket, no residue, nothing to worry about. Your floor is completely done. It's easy, it's fast, and it's cheap, and it's fun. 
Folks, if your floors have a little heavier soil load than usual and when mopping won't quite get it, take your microfiber pad off and you can find a nylon scrubbing pad. It's like what the pros use. Put that on the bottom of your little holder like that. And you can scrub your floor. Same process exactly. When it's scrubbed, put the microfiber pad back on the floor, too, and you got it made. Easy to do. Okay, folks, it's floor cleaning time. Is it this? Or this? By golly, it's your choice. To check out these and many other products, go to Don Asas Clean Center Stores or cleanreport.com. Oh.